Tuesday the 26th of January, uh, a newsletter video, so hopefully this will be on YouTube and within the Sway uh, newsletter. Picking up uh, from families and talking to children that uh, last week was tough, uh, that, that are probably the toughest of the lockdown, and people are finding this a lot uh, more difficult than maybe the lockdown in uh, April, May onwards last year. Uh, Weather is not as clement, uh, expectations of employers, expectations of schools are significantly higher. And I think, you know, hopefully there'll be parts of this newsletter that will help you with that and give you an indication of how we can help. I held a parenting meeting uh, about 10 days ago, one at two, at one at six. We had more than 100 people attend. I, I will be doing another one. I would encourage you um, to uh, join in with that. I didn't go on too long. Um, but I, I think it hopefully talking talking to some parents it, it did help in terms of getting some key messages about learning at home. One, you are not homeschooling your child, um, and some of the pronouncements in the press, some of the comments in the press, Facebook, um, and maybe some political commentators or politicians aren't always helpful for that. And the guilt that we are seeing parents feel is huge. Please don't feel guilty. You are doing a really good job. The level of engagement um, across the school is fantastic, both online and in printed packs. Um, I would stress that there is a need for your child to engage with learning, um, and we have been in touch with a few families to see how we can help with that. Um, that's an expectation from the Department of Education and Keystone uh, Multi Academy Trust, who, of whom we're a part, are checking up on, on our levels of participation. Those levels are high, uh, and we are incredibly grateful for that. Um, do remember that you can come online for the lessons if you can get online. I'll talk about that in a moment. And also the printed packs are available. On the newsletter, there is a uh, the link to request more packs. Uh, we sent home or had collected from us more than 230 last week, which is fantastic. Please do send in the work, whether when you're dropping off uh, or when you're picking up the pack, drop off the work or tweet or email to the year group um, email address so that we can see what your child's doing, but also celebrate it to see the wonderful work's taking at home. That bit of acknowledgement goes a long way. Uh, we have been able to distribute more than 40 laptops and uh, tablets uh, because of the Department of Education uh, donations and some of our own kit. But obviously with uh, up to a third of the school coming in um, over, over weeks, um, we do need the machines in school. We have uh, been very lucky. We've had a donation of £2,000 from Garthwaite Masonic Foundation uh, in Long Sutton and £1,500 from BGL uh, Insurance in Peterborough. Both of those are being put into further purchases. And again, if you are having issues, I know that this morning I received an email uh, about a laptop that had broken. And again, we'll seek to support you. Uh, there is uh, some more information about data. I'm so sorry it's taken a while to, take out, to, to get out. Um, it's just... We're trying to tick each job off. Um, we are acutely aware that for children who are not getting into school, there are we have real concerns around well-being, around uh, socialisation, missing their friends. Um, certainly, should um, lockdown continue after uh, February half term, I have no indication that it will. Um, but should it do should it do so we will be then putting some more plans in place which i'll only uh uh will only come out should they be needed we as i've said in previous uh newsletters and in the parents meeting we do not find out anything uh before a national announcements so i don't have uh any um prior knowledge of what will happen what I would point out is uh, there are um, stories in the newspapers about teachers being vaccinated, which would be very welcome, but that would not necessarily indicate that primary schools could be open. You've got to remember that the closing of primary schools is to stop the mixing of children from different families at a time when the R rate is over one. In order for uh, schools to uh, be open and to not be raising the R rate, uh, we need to make sure that um, the, the rate of transmission across the country is lower. Um, I have read, read this week that uh, you know something were about uh, 0.8 to 1 before primary school should open, but there are so many, every time you read something, you read a different opinion. But again, we'll see what the uh, government make a decision on that. 
Uh, within this, uh, we are now able to offer our staff lateral flow testing. If your child is in school at the moment or receiving online teaching, uh, it might cause a few uh, minor hiccups in terms of um, the testing is identifying more asymptomatic uh, carriers or people who are positive but uh, asymptomatic and therefore um, should we have a member of staff who has a positive test you may find that uh, online learning is affected for a couple of days as we put systems in place and obviously if your child comes in that bubble would close. Um, we are testing twice a week uh, in, in order to uh, make sure that we have uh, clarity over um, rates of infection amongst the staff and uh, obviously with them within children. Um, printed packs I have covered, that's in the uh, uh, newsletter. And then um, food large, I've put in a photo of the uh, huge donations uh, that you made uh, last uh, term. Um, I know that uh, the people working at the food lot are incredibly grateful for that. Uh, again, you've surpassed yourselves. But I would also say at this moment, um, we are acutely aware of uh, issues around putting uh, food on the table. The food larder is there. Uh, the um, phone number is 0793219629. or pop in. It's open Tuesdays 10 till 12 and Fridays 1 till 3. And again, should lockdown continue, uh, I know there are plans in place to try and uh, make sure that we're supporting as many people. But they do an amazing, amazing job there. So last few bits. Um, please do use the website. To it. Please do um, access our Twitter address. The links are in, in the newsletter. Um, Website has all the information you need and all your home learning. Yes, there's going to be glitches on there from time to time, but we try and uh, mend those. Um, and Twitter, we are trying to share as much of the children's work on there, but as soon as anything happens, we put the information on Twitter first. And then finally, to help those of you at home, um, concerns about well-being or e-safety, I know that there are a few, um, you know, you're trying to work from home, then you've got children, um, whether in older years accessing WhatsApp groups or playing online. Um, well, I have got links to the uh, Ditto uh, e-learning magazine, which is aimed at parents. That's available from um, Alan McKenzie, e-safety advisor, who's Lincolnshire-based and a friend of the school. Um, but the link's on there for you. There's a super site, uh, the COVID-19 parenting site. Lots of strategies and tips to help you. Uh, the Lincolnshire Emotional Wellbeing and Mental Health site, which is run by Lincolnshire Local Authority to give you information and advice in one place. Um, we then also uh, have uh, some information uh, just to finish off. Uh, 11 plus if you're year five, the registration for year five parents uh, closes on the 12th of February. Um, so I've put the link into the newsletter. And very st uh, short notice in terms of it's been on the website, but we have um, we have two vacancies, um, one for a two day a week admin assistant that was emailed out to you last week, and a casual uh, basis nursery nursery worker role. They both close tomorrow, and if you are a critical worker, um, please book for your child's uh, t uh, time in school for the weeks commencing the first and the eighth of. February, that's next week and the week after. You must book a place, even if your child's been coming for the last three weeks, even if they come five days a week and you've told us. It goes on the spreadsheet. It allows us to help it. And, and you know, we've got so many things uh, floating around. If we have it on the spreadsheet, it happens. And again, please note that unless we have told you you can't have a place, if you've booked it, then turn up for that place. So finish off with a huge thank you uh, for you to you for your support. It's wonderful to see you picking up your books, uh, coming in to get your packs. Please do come pick your books up on those uh, appointed days. And I would finish with um, huge thanks to all staff. I'm going to be really honest, they're shattered. Uh, there was an Ofsted report that came out on Monday, uh, their second uh, report on e-learning or uh, remote learning. And they're saying the... Um, the rise in uh, the significant rise in workload on staff because they're engaging with you on uh, at home they're making the printed packs they're engaging with the work that's being sent in from printed packs and from home and then teaching in school as well they uh, are doing an incredible job uh, across all roles again um, so lucky with the staff we've got but I would just to 
like to place on record my thanks to them because they are doing such a wonderful job and uh, at such a difficult time. So uh, I promised I wouldn't go over 10 minutes and I just have. I am sorry. I uh, hope you're all well. Please uh, keep in touch. We can help. And please stay safe. Thank you.